Hello, welcome to my channel. I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial we will learn about CSS. What is CSS? So what is the full form of CSS? It is cascading style sheet. So CSS is used to style or customize this the HTML elements. For example, let's say you have some text like heading if you want to change the color, text color, you use CSS. To change the text background color, you can use CSS. And many more properties can be changed. So let's see how, let's see the basics. Now here I have an HTML document. I put the HTML tag, the head tag, the body tag, and then I put the title as CSS. So now let's see how to do CSS. We use the style tag at the head section to start CSS. So there are two types of CSS, internal CSS and external CSS. In external CSS, you create a CSS file, but in internal CSS, in the same HTML file, we put the style tag and then start coding using CSS. So we are going to do internal CSS. Now first we put the style tag and inside the style tag we put the selector. So what is a selector? First we are going to put some elements in the body section. So let me put heading 1, h1. I'll put something like hello, welcome. I'll just I'm just going to copy paste this to make H2. And then I'm going to make a paragraph. I'll put P and then inside this you can type anything you want. I'll type the same words and I'll add an, another hello. Now let me save it. Now let's go to the live preview and see how it looks. You can see the H1 which is this one, H2 and then the paragraph. So now if you want to change let's say the text color of H1 then you use CSS. So here the selector is H1. So the selector is the element which we are going to change the style so now we are going to change the style of h1 so i'm going to put h1 as the selector after the selector you put curly brackets and inside the curly brackets we put the property first so now the property is to change the background color we put background hyphen color after you put that, you need to put the value. So the value is going to be, I'm going to put the background color to be black. And now at last, you need to put a semicolon. So H1 is the selector because we are going to change its properties. Background color is the name of the property and the value is black. And this whole thing is called a declaration. So now uh, we put the background color as black. Let's save it and see how it looks. You can see the text color is also black. When I select it, it becomes white. But when I don't, it is black in default. So let's change the text color to allies blue. To change the text color, we use the color as the property. And now here I'm going to put allies blue and then I'll save it. Now here you can see this the text color is allies blue and then the background color of H1 is in black. Now let's do let's do the same thing for H2 and the paragraph. So I'll just copy paste this. So let me change the selector name to be H2. Now the background color is going to be blue this time. Let me put 
sky blue and then the text color is going to be black so you don't need to put this as the default color is black and now let's see the live preview you can see H2 is black and its background is sky blue now let's do the same thing for the paragraph tag let's customize it now I'll just copy paste this now change the selector from H1 to P because we are going to do for the paragraph tag and let's save it now let the background color be black and the color can be allies blue now let's see how it looks now we are going to learn a new property called the font size so this is used to change increase or decrease the size of the text so i'll put font hyphen size and then here let me put the value as 50 pixels which is very large so now if you see the paragraph it it looks the font looks very large so you should represent it by px or pixels now i'll put 45 or let me put 40 and see how it looks it looks in this size i'll put 12 now it looks very small there is also another way of using CSS. So to see that way, let's delete this whole style block. And now inside, if we want to change the properties of H1, we put style. Style equals to and then inside here we put the property name so i'm going to put background color and let me put it as aquamarine and put a semicolon so this is also the another way of using css so now let's see it uh, it is in aquamarine the background color you can do the same way for h2 and the paragraph tag style equals to and then now this time i'm going to put the color which means text color and I will put it as aqua and I'll save it now you can see that the text color is changed to aqua and now you can do the same thing for the paragraph tag I'll put style equals to here I'm going to put the font size and the font size is going to be 30 pixels and put a semicolon and save it now let's see how it looks so it, it looks a bit larger so this is another way of using the style tag 